I'm a lot happier. I always suspected that about Roy. I'm happy. Anyway. Oh, dang it. What's the weirdest question a fan has asked me? Uh, <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> This little, I think he was about 10 years old at a uh, con, and he came up like, he had the most, like, such a swagger, and he walks up and leans on the table and he's like, Can I get your number? <laughs> Washington or somewhere, and I'm like, uh, I live in Texas, I think it'll be kind of a long distance phone call. If you call me, he's like, So whatever, my parents give me allowance. <laughs> so, That's my kind of dude. Yeah. <laughs> Did he score? Did he score your digits? I'm seeing him next weekend, actually. <laughs> like similar questions because I know that when things are videotaped and they're put on YouTube, you guys hear a lot of the same answers. But you know, the truth is the truth, right? I mean, if somebody says, for instance, how are you? I mean, it's gonna, the answer's gonna be the same. So, um, I, one of the weirdest things that's ever been asked of me is a girl in Corpus Christi came up to me at a convention and asked me if I would allow her to lick my hand. <laughs> love to do things for you guys, you know that. And like, you're so cute. No. And, uh, and she started crying. No. That's it. She played the tear card. And I was like, oh, please, oh, please don't do that. Please, please. And she's like, my friend's in the corner over there. And she points to these girls in the corner and they're all going, <laughs> I told them that you're really good to your fans. <laughs> you would do anything a fan asked, and I bet them all my money that you would let me do it. I met Charlie in the hotel lobby, and my dog, Charlie, <laughs> if you didn't know, and he licked your nose, like right up, like straight up, <laughs> and Charlie's breath smells like poop, <laughs> and I was laughing on the inside, because I knew Hence the term brown nose. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, sorry. <laughs> But you know what's funny is that girl, she hears that story, whoever she is, she hears that story on YouTube now all the time, she's like, I'm famous. I'm like, you don't want to be famous for that. <laughs> you palm liquor. <laughs> you know, I would sure love that. Um, for those of you that don't know what that is, right after we started the recording the show, I just... I fell in love with it like no other show that I had done up to that point, and I and I thought it would be fun to make a little fun, a little parody, 15-minute uh, parody fan film. So I asked some of the other voice actors if they would like to be in it, and we all cosplayed as our characters. And, uh, and it turned out really, really great. Uh, music and sound effects and even some special effects at the end. and. Um, and it was Especially great. quality on big films are like crazy awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny, you know, it's funny you should say that because I told Funimation that I was doing it. And Barry was like, yeah, dude, I just don't want to hear about it. That's fine. You know, whatever you're doing, I just don't want to know because it can't be a, you know, of course, it can't be an official thing because it wasn't a licensed permission thing. It was just a fan thing. Well, then after I finished it, I started showing it at conventions. I didn't sell it. I didn't put it on the internet. It was only available to show to fans at cons. That was what I made it for. And 
about a year after I started, uh, somebody from the legal side of Funimation contacted me and said, hey dude, um, you're getting way too much attention from this full metal live action thing, and we don't have a license to do anything live action, so we don't want to make the Japanese mad. We don't want them to get upset like they think we're taking advantage of the license. And I'm like, dude, it, it promotes their show. <laughs> How could anyone have a problem with this? That the actors actually love this enough to make something like this, take their time. The fans love it. It just perpetuates, yeah, but we don't really have permission, so we'd like to ask you to hold on for a while. It's like, don't show it. So I am honored that because I respect them and certainly love working with them. So I haven't shown it since. Um, I would love to, to resume. I would love to. And one of the funny things they said was, we figured when you told us we were doing it, it was like, could it be like a home camcorder thing? We had no idea what's going on. What's up? Like, like a professional. So, yeah. Like a production value was higher than we thought. <laughs> Young as the wall. In a manner that makes sense and it's a legitimate response, then I'll do it. What's the difference from the 15 times it's on YouTube? <laughs> now? I mean, Live! That's not Wait, one representative, you. <laughs> Dang, that's a good answer. <laughs> about, you know, how there's occasional yaoi pairing with Ed and Ray. Okay, well, first of all, Travis and I, I think we can say we don't like that. We don't, okay. But let me just say this. Somebody said, well, yeah, you say you don't like it, but you said that line about Roy looking good in the miniskirt. I said, I was joking. It was, it was making a joke. And somebody asked us at a con, say something, somebody said to me, say something nice about Roy. So I said, Colonel Mustang looks dead sexy. And like that was a compliment. Like I thought Mustang was sexy. And then as a joke, it was like, yeah, in a dress. You know? It was meant to be sarcasm. And there are people actually out there that think that I was like, you know, like, you know, they're like, like t-shirts of it now. <laughs> like Hanes is coming out with a brand of underwear right now. <laughs> Superman, Spider-Man, Colonel Mustang, and Dead Sexy. <laughs> on the back. That's the most requested line that's never been in any flipping show. Oh, <laughs> 